quick tutorials. We don't waste time. Good news, everyone. Magic Lantern has unlocked the ability to get consistent 24 frame per second raw footage out of the 5D Mark II at 90 megabytes per second. What does this mean? Skip past this part if you know the basics. Magic Lantern is firmware for Canon DSLRs. It's a hack. It allows you to remove the constraints on the camera that Canon puts in place. Constraints? Canon has a lot of the same sensor and equipment in their cameras across the board. Some cameras are more powerful than others. That's because Canon only allows you to see a certain part of the features. Same way that when you upgrade your internet speed, you aren't really getting better equipment. They're just allowing you to have more power. It makes it easy for them, and they're totally allowed to do it. The Magic Lantern team has come along and found ways to circumvent this, allowing you to get better features out of, say, a T3i, like for me. Is this pirating? No, not really. Canon knows about what they're doing. It's just that Canon can't come out and openly do it because uh, they'll get taxed if they're producing a video camera than a digital camera, and, well, they want you to spend more money on their bigger camera. And there's other things going on there that I don't know about. But Magic Lantern allows you to record longer than 12 minutes on a T3i, uh, 30 minutes actually. You can get better color temperature controls and audio monitoring on screen and a bunch of other stuff. So now they've cracked raw footage out of a 5D Mark III. When is raw footage? When a camera records, the image comes through the sensor. The processor inside the camera has to dumb it down to a maintainable format. You notice how the camera takes pictures at like 5000 by 3600 or something like that? But HD video is only 1920 by 1080. Well, that's not all that's happening. Let's say raw image is a square. This is what every sensor is seeing all the time. Well, the processor can't handle a square that big, so it turns it into a rectangle. Well, the rectangle is still too big, so it brings it down way in size. It's also slightly green and wants it bluer, so it makes it a little bluer. Then it sends it into the card for you. You've just got a very chewed up version of the original footage. Most people won't notice it or don't know, but the camera wizards out there will notice issues like that. Raw image has not been tampered with. It's flat, it hasn't been filtered, it hasn't been processed, and it gives you a ton of room to play with it. You want a flat picture, because then you can color correct it to hell and back, and it's way, way sharper. The Canon compression softens the image, and it causes a lot of unnecessary blurs and contrasts and weird spots, and raw footage allows you to recover some things, like if the image is blown out, instead of showing up as white that you can't play with, the raw image sees it much more accurately as really, really, really white. So it's not unrecoverable. You can bring things down and balance it out. Photographers prefer raw pictures over compressed JPEGs for the same reason. This is the biggest thing Magic Lantern has come out with, and they say that there's a possibility that they can do this with a 7D, 5D Mark II, obviously, and a T3i and a 60D. So there's no promise there, but, you know, they say it's possible. On a side note, these guys are just doing this shit for fun, so if you can stop by and give them a donation, that'd really be great because they're making life really easy for a lot of filmmakers. Now the downside of this whole deal is that raw image is recorded at 90 megabytes per second at 1080p. It can record up to 3.5k before it gets glitchy, but then the cards can't keep up with the data transfer. That's about 11 minutes before you've got a full 64 gigabyte card at 5.4 gigabytes a minute. But if that turns you off, then a welcome to the big leagues because that's what these bigger cameras are working with. You can spend 100 bucks a pop on a 64 gigabyte 1000 time CF card to handle that data rate because it's still cheaper than buying one or even renting an Ari Alexa or a Red Epic because it's comparable to that image. And yes, that is how powerful the sensor really is in a 5D Mark II when it's unlocked its Super Saiyan 3 form. Anyways, this camera just got a massive boost in value. Uh, it's a lot better than a C100 or the giant alternatives for video production that Canon sells. Oh, and you can still record normal 1080p if you want to. I've linked the sample of the footage in the comments as well as the downloads so that you can take this footage into your editor and look at it yourself. My name is Alex Harris, and this has been a quick tutorial. By the way, if you guys have any suggestions for what my next tutorial should be on, please leave it in the comments. I'd prefer that over, oh, you're an idiot, or oh, I hate you, the other shit I get. Anyways, I'm out.